It was a very intense period of my life um, when we were creating Huffington Post, and I spent a lot of, of you know, late nights IMing and talking on the phone with Andrew, and, and he spent a lot of time in our office in Soho, even though he, he lived in LA, and we you know, worked on a bunch of ideas um, together. And I think that you know, it's easy for internet commenters um, to, to uh, you know, say, oh, it's good he's dead, and look at all the damage he's done, and, and you, know, you might not agree, w agree with his work, but it's harder when you met someone to, to, to feel that way when they have a face and uh, a personality. And, um, and you know, although he was in many ways very difficult to work with and, and turned out to be impossible <laughs> to work with, um, but you know, he, he, he bounced around the office and was playing fantasy sports and throwing out ideas that were totally impractical and impossible to do, and, um, as well as some good ideas that, that help, you know, helped us think about online news in a more sophisticated way. Um, you know, he had this spirit about him that was um, so distinctive and so specific and that you know, when, you, when you work with someone closely, you feel like you know what that, you know, it sounds kind of, kind of corny in a, in a sense, but you know what that spirit is like and it's hard to believe that it doesn't exist anymore. Even separate from whether you think the spirit was ultimately good for the world or good for, for political discourse, um, it was this intense kind of life form that, that somehow isn't here anymore and it, you know, it's, it's you know, uh, was, a, was shocking news and my, you know, thoughts go to his family and, and um, you know, I have, I'll have these memories for, for forever about about him, and you know I wish I wish that uh, he could have uh, lived a long a long life.